welcome back to the day daily so today we're gonna be doing a halloween video you heard me right halloween it's my favorite time of year and i wanted to do a halloween look and so i'll tell you kind of the plan so we're gonna go get pumpkins and like decorate our house a little bit and then we do a pumpkin family halloween look with my brother my mom me and suede <laughs> so we would do that my mother's right there she's eating lunch hello <laughs> and then we're gonna go pick up suede out and then go pick up casein from school and then we're gonna go find some pumpkins so come with us on our halloween journey let's go okay we are here at smith's let's go find some pumpkins We have our pumpkin king with all of his pumpkins. It's really, really tall. Look at me compared to him. He's a bit tall. I thought. All right guys, so now we are on to the makeup part of this video. And I changed into a white shirt and did my hair different because it's a different day. Anyways, I'm gonna start, my family will be in in a minute, um, my mom and maybe my brother. So let's just start with some primer. I've actually never used this before because my mom said it's good. It's the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. That's what it looks like. Oh, I can kind of tell why it's called the Marshmallow Primer because it's white. Honestly, it looks like sunscreen. All right. Now I'm going to, now that I'm done with this, I'm just gonna do some three in one rose primer water because one, I think it smells amazing. Fantasy Makers three in one rose primer water and I love it. So you just spray it on your face. All right, while well, I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna put my foundation on here and get my foundation brush and stuff. Okay, brush now is this one. It Cosmetics. I love this brush because I can do my eyeshadow on one side and my foundation on the other. I started using this like a couple days ago, but now I freaking love it. Alrighty, now that is all blended in. Next we're gonna do powder, that's what it's called. My big favorite big brush. This all over. Now I am all. Oh wait, Ugh, I always forget to do concealer. Hopefully this is the right color because I don't know. It's hard to tell, but we're just gonna trust the ink stinks. We're just going to use the same brush we had. Now I'm gonna do powder again because now we need to set it again. So let's do that. My face is a little lighter than my neck, but it's fine. We'll put some, hopefully this will make it look a little more even. To me, that also made it look darker. So, I guess I'm just gonna add concealer. We're gonna do powder once more again. A little bit more even, hopefully. Let's hope it just doesn't happen. Okay, now, as you know, we're doing pumpkins and I'm going to show you kind of what my plan is. So I say we just get to kind of like sketching it out. Got some black box punt. I got a little cup of water here. I don't really have like a plan or anything, but going with the flow guys and it doesn't need to be perfect because it's just 
just a freaking pumpkin with a cracked face, okay? Okay, well that's kind of like the outline, I guess. And I'm gonna make it look a little bit more cleaner here, so. So I'm gonna make like little stitch marks too, so that it looks like it was kind of like stitched on my face. Well, we're gonna pause on the black now that we have like the outline, and we're gonna start on this. So we're just gonna grab this big brush, and we're gonna dip it in the water, and get a bit of orange on here, and paint my face orange. Because pumpkins are orange. I've seen, uh, guys, it's Peyton. <laughs> guys, say hi to Peyton's puppy. His name's, hey, hi. His name's Tank. So cute. <laughs> this, is, this is going good. I'm just gonna be like painting my face orange for a while. I'm gonna leave like my face, like this area, like blank because like my eye area because I'm gonna be doing a triangle on it. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna grab a little bit of a smaller brush. Whoa, did you see that? Anyways, I'm going to get a little bit of a smaller brush and get kind of like around here where it's harder to get. Guys, I look kind of weird right now. <laughs> my face is just like orange. Yeah, I'm gonna finish the orange around my face and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I finished and I ended up doing a second layer because I needed to. <laughs> so now that I'm done with that, we're gonna do the black parts. We need to do the mouth outline and nose. So for the nose, she starts like right up here. really bad. Fine. Now I'm going to do the, I'm gonna do the eye outline. So we're just gonna start here. Hopefully about good. It's a bit of a fat eyeball, if we're being honest. Looking good so far. mad it dripped all right guys so now my mom is here she's in her skeleton shirt and i just in a white shirt that i already got dirty what else is new nothing there's still a bit of orange i need to fill in here so i'm just gonna do that right and i am gonna work on doing a kind of like a skull puppy. show them show them this is what she looks like so i already put my foundation on so i'm just going to put some powder on my face just to lock everything in this is a really good powder. It's the Neutrogena one. I used it. Did you like it? Yeah, I did a lot actually. So these skeleton looks, I mean, you can go extravagant, crazy cool like Day is doing, or yeah, crazy cool. this one is gonna be pretty like quick and simple to do. So this could be one that you could do in the morning before school, or if you have a work party, or for a Halloween party. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the pumpkin shapes. So she kind of has diamonds on her eyes and then a triangle on her nose and then the skull teeth. So we're gonna do that. Okay, starting off with the diamonds on my eyes. And they kind of go up above the eyebrow a little bit and then connect to the inner quarter and outer quarter. quarter. Kind of hard to do with my eyebrows in the way. I don't like how uneven it is, but I don't know how to fix that, so. So I'm gonna kind of wing out the corner and then connect it into the wing. Okay, now I'm gonna do the outline of the mouth. And black face paint is the easiest stuff to use. So Why? you guys can get this stuff on Amazon. This is the Wolf one. That's probably the, our favorite that we use. 
but it just makes it so much easier to do. Okay, so I'm starting to fill in the mouth. That's really looking really good. I'm almost done with the um, pumpkin part, but now I'm gonna use black for like the little lines. So by your eyes, you don't actually wanna use the <coughs> face paint. I'm using an <clears throat> eyeliner in the inner parts by the eye. So I don't care if this gets a little smudgy on the bottom because we're gonna kind of uh, smudge it out. And this bottom part is gonna kind of come to a point for the bottom of our triangle. So we're just connecting. Gonna line it up to be with this one. So we're gonna put it about there. I'm just gonna make a little dot so I know where I'm going. When you have foundation on, your brushes feel so soft on your face. So I'm taking this black color and I'm just taking a little bit and then I'm sliding it uh, down my face. Like so, I'm not doing like a super dark black because I don't want it to be like, just doing a little bit of black around my, in this area because you know how pumpkin have like the boom, so I'll do. I'm even gonna use the face paint to kind of do the triangle part. I'm also kind of blending the black out a little bit too, just so it's not so straight in a line. I'm kind of like doing a little bit on the side so it's a little bit faded out. For um, CCA, College Corner or Renner's Card Loss, um, I'm doing what I have to like write children books. Mm -hmm. Mine's about birds. Uh -huh. It's about Polly the bird uh -huh. and Petey the bird. And it's about, it's, the title's called The Lost Friend. So mm -hmm. Polly's, a, Polly's the girl and she is lonely, so she wants to try and find a friend. So she tries, she, so she goes to the park, no friend. She goes to the city, no friend. She goes to her house, like her favorite house, like an actual house. And she finds, and she lands there and she finds a bird that looks exactly like her, but blue. So then she asked, what's your name? And he said, Petey. And then she said, do you want to be friends? He's like, sure. So they went off on adventures together. Aww. And then guess what? What? They had baby birds. Aww. And then I'm not finished. I like this story. It's for a little kid too, so. I think you should publish it. Uh, well, I can't publish it, then. It says who? Smash that like button if you guys think Daya should publish her book. Guys, I don't think it's that good, but I'm not even finished with my book yet. Okay, now we're just gonna kind of do U's for the teeth. Are you not gonna do a line first? Well, yeah, lines and then you connect them kind of like this. And they kind of smaller here, longer here. It's looking awesome, girl. I mean, the makeup over here. I know. <laughs> Now we're just gonna keep making them all the way back. But if you mess up, you keep your makeup sponge close by. Makeup wipe, you just wipe it off and try again. All right guys, I think this looks amazing. I think I did an amazing, amazing job. All right, so now I, you know, I'm not done yet. <laughs> but now I'm going to do just a couple things. I'm going to take this brush, I guess. Just adding like little stitch marks here and there. All right, I think I'm pretty much done. I just need to, I'm just gonna do some orange eyeshadow. I'm gonna do like a sparkly orange eyeshadow and yeah. So I'm gonna connect these with little U's at the bottom. I'm just going to use this orange color on my eye. All right, so it's looking good so far. Now I'm gonna do this on my lid. I think that's gonna look like red, red, kale. Oh, mother, tell me that's not beautiful. It's not beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, okay. She's got this hollow in her cheek, the C, so we're gonna create this little C space and then connect the teeth there and then we'll finish with the teeth. So I know where to stop. to kind of create that skull shape. 
Now, I'm just gonna do some mascara. So then I know to connect this line with the rest of my teeth. I'm going to now put in a black contact. Guys, I'm getting very good at putting in contacts. Let's hope I still do good. I'm kind of scared since I have all this on my face, but. Gonna finish with these teeth and Bea's eyeball and we'll be right back. Okay, now once we've got all the U's on the teeth and we've filled them in, we're gonna go back and do some shading in a little bit, but we're gonna finish our pumpkin lines. Daya finished hers, so I'm gonna finish showing you mine and then we'll show you the final looks of mine and Daya's in just a second. So I just need to connect my nose up to kind of my forehead area. So we're gonna go from the middle and draw three lines here and then a line kind of on the outside of the face. And I want it to be really light. <clears throat> so not a lot on my brush. So that's the first line. And then I'm gonna connect these two as well and draw the big pumpkin line on the outside. These lines don't need to be perfect because we're gonna be blending them with eyeshadow anyway. Kinda like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend these black lines with a little bit of black eyeshadow and then we're gonna blend them with some orange eyeshadow to have the pumpkin look. And then we'll be all done. So just using kind of a flat eyeshadow brush. This is a brush from e.l.f. that's like a dollar or two. And we're just going to add some black. Let's just go in with any black that you have. And to really fine tune lines, I'm gonna use an angled brush, like a really small one. See how we're smudging it just to make it look more like a shadow. So it does not have to be perfect at all. I think I'm even gonna extend my eye just a little bit. And then really kind of get these edges. And then just keep smoking out everywhere, especially around these lines. You want the hollow of this cheek to look really smoky. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a dark orange first and kind of smoke out around all the lines. We're gonna do dark orange and then light orange. And you're just kind of blending it in with the black. At first I was using the NYX Modern Dreamer orange. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 35M palette and use the orange in here because it's a little bit of a darker orange. I'm just gonna go over what I already did. The other one was kind of more of a neon orange and I'm wanting a little bit more of a pumpkin orange, if you will. Just trace the lines, it's that easy. And she has hers connecting up here, but I kind of like mine not connecting. I, I think I'm just gonna kind of connect it with the orange, not the black. So filling in with the teeth with the orange, I just start off at the base with the most orange and then drag it up or down, whichever tooth you're working on. <laughs> Make it really smoky in this inner corner in here. Okay, I'm gonna fix up my eyebrows a little bit. We're just gonna use a little bit of like a blackish brown eyeshadow. And then for my eyebrow, I'm gonna kind of do it up in the center to make it kind of look like mean pumpkin. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of gold on my lids to kind of make it look like I'm glowing from the black. This is my finger. This is the Jeffree Star Morphe collaboration palette. I'm just gonna add some like shimmery on top of the my black. Now I look like I'm glowing. All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes, finish my look up a little bit, finish Daya's look up, and then we'll show you the final look. I'm just adding glitter to the black one. And there's is that Pearl. a black glitter? Yeah, it's just a black glitter. I like it. There's Pearl. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we finished, and with this black, it makes my teeth look like super white. 
Um, <laughs> anyways, this was super fun. I think I did. We did a great job. I think it was super cool. I love cool. the black glitter. Me too. That, like, yeah, I added the black glitter. It's kind of hard to see in camera, but anyways. And I love how you've got like half the face like stitched. Yeah, I love it. I might do this for Halloween one day because, <laughs> or not one day, <laughs> like some Halloween because I think this was really cool. So. Mom, it looks like you can just see your face because your hair like blends in with the black mm. background. So yeah, I think we did awesome job. This was super fun. And yeah, these are pretty simple to do. They would probably take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on If you're like my mom, the perfectionist, one. it takes her an hour. Same with me. But <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and Casey's channel and my day daily gaming channel. Especially if you guys want more Halloween looks from Daya, you should definitely hit that. And like, let us know <laughs> if me and Peril should make a Peril and Daryl show YouTube channel. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye. That looks dark for me. Anyways, since. Anyways, <laughs> I dropped something too earlier. Like mother, like daughter. Ma'am, why do you keep dropping everything? I don't. Can you see me? Go. Okay, let us know. Let us know and finish, baby. And like, let us know if if me and Purple. Oh, sorry. <laughs>